A man already facing trial for attempted murder of a sheriff's deputy in Monroe County is now in jail, accused of attacking a university hospital employee. USA Police say Colton Sims attacked the employee while he was a patient. News 5's Dana Winter is joining us live from Mobile Metro Jail. Dana, Sims is actually facing a list of charges, including two attempted murder charges. Yeah, Cherish, those attempted murder charges, one out of Monroe County, the other out of Baldwin County, and the Baldwin County Sheriff's Office tells News 5 Colton Sims was recovering from that gunshot wound in a shooting that happened on the same day as the attack at University Hospital. Now, after he gets out of jail here at Metro, uh, he will then face his other cases, the first, like I said, in Monroe County and the other in Baldwin. This is 26-year-old Colton Sims. Court documents show Sims faces charges out of Monroe County for attempted murder of a Monroe County Sheriff's deputy in 2017. The affidavit out of Monroe County says Sims intentionally tried to kill the deputy by attempting to run him over. More documents out of Monroe County say Sims was in possession of a controlled substance at the time, that he is also charged with attempting to evade an officer and also charged with resisting arrest. Sims bonded out of jail in Monroe County shortly after his arrest, but less than two weeks ago on December 14th, two more cases against Sims in two different counties. The Baldwin County Sheriff's Office tells News 5 Sims was involved in a domestic violence shooting on Sims Road near Little River. The Sheriff's Office says that shooting happened during an argument. Sims was taken to University Hospital for treatment, which is where University of South Alabama police say Sims attacked an employee. The Baldwin County Sheriff's Office says it has a hold on Sims and he should go to their jail after he gets out of Metro. But Sims also has a status hearing for his attempted murder case in Monroe County, and that should be happening on January 6th. Reporting live tonight outside of Mobile Metro Jail, I'm Dana Winter for WKRG News 5. Thanks, Dana.